evening internet. Um, for the next few days, I've decided that my vlog is going to cover something that people have asked me about. Um, the number one question that I have when it comes to random people asking me questions is, in short, what type of laptop should I buy? Um, I'm pretty well known for knowing lots about computers and, well, the next few blogs will be about what type of lap what to look for in a laptop, what type of laptop to buy, and so on. More explaining the why I come to the conclusion that I do. So consider this vlog zero. Why is it vlog zero? Because the first thing that you should do when you decide to buy a computer is figure out what type of computer that you want. And believe it or not, a laptop may not necessarily be the best thing for you. Um, so I'm going to quickly go over the different types of computers and what use cases that they are. Um, perhaps in later vlogs I'll go over how to pick out the proper desktop or what have you, but I'm primarily focusing this series on laptops. Um, so this is a desktop. Um, desktops are frequently cheaper, but not necessarily, um, than laptops, sorry, partial comment. Um, Desktops are frequently, but not necessarily, cheaper than laptops. Typically, they are higher performing, but not necessarily. And they're much larger, uh, as you can tell from this thing sitting here. This is not actually my desktop, but a friend of mine's. Um, they come in different shapes and sizes. I mean, this is more of a standard desktop. This is a Nintendo Wii, but I've built desktops the same size as a Nintendo Wii, so that should give you an idea as to how small a conventional computer can get. Um, you also have different types of tablets. Now, when I say tablet, I need to specify because this is the type of thing that most people think of. This is a slate-based tablet. This is actually a uh, 2013 Nexus 7. It's mine. Mine. Um, this is what most people think of when they think slate-based tablet, or at least something like this. It might be larger or what have you. Um, different slate-based tablets are... For instance, iPads, Galaxy Nexus or Galaxy Notes, um, Galaxy Tabs, um, Asus Transformers. There's a lot of different models and different varieties. I'm not really going to go over much of the way of details, but they run in all sorts of things. However, this is a slate-based tablet. Um, there are some slate-based tablets that run Windows, um, both Windows RT and Windows 8. Again. When I actually do an episode on Slate-based tablets, I'll go into further details. Um, the reason why I specify Slate is that there is also convertible. Uh, convertible tablets have are very similar looking to laptops, you know, laptop, except they have some type of feature that converts them into a tablet. Um, convertible tablets frequently and almost always run Windows. Uh, some of them run Linux, there's not too many of those, and there's no such thing as a slate-based iPad, or a sl I've never, or not slate-based, um, there's no such thing as a convertible iPad, and I've never seen a convertible Android tablet. They probably exist, and I just have never seen it. Uh, usually they have some type of hinge that rotates and or folds. Um, this is a nice medium if you are somebody that wants... The power of a desktop or power of a laptop computer in something that's more touch friendly or stylus friendly, um, you are more likely to find styluses in convertible tablets. They're kind of falling on the wayside now that slate based tablets are cheaper. Uh, and then there, of course, is the standard laptop. Um, the reason why you would want, if you think that you want a laptop and you might want something else is, well, there's several of them. For instance, um, say for instance, you don't need it to do much. You check your email, you read web pages. That's about it. Your consuming content is the defining phrase that I would use rather than creating content. For consuming content, something like this works out great. Um, maybe not this exact size. There's, as I said, there's lots of sizes. You can even get some that are more this size, although I wouldn't recommend it. But the idea is that this is cheaper, this is simpler, this is easier. However, it doesn't let you create content very easily. I mean, typing on this works, but, well, it's kind of clunky and 
not as nice as just typing on a keyboard. Um, sometimes instead of a tablet, you actually, or instead of a laptop, you actually should have a desktop. The times of that are when you are not mobile. In other words, you want a laptop even though all you're going to do is sit at your desk and type. There's not a good reason to use a laptop. Now, there are times where a laptop might actually be cheaper than a desktop, and those are weird situations, and it's really dependent on what you do with the machine. However, chances are if you are primarily use your machine at a desk and don't really ever move around, you plan on just sitting there and typing at it and then walking away, there's no reason for you to buy a laptop. You're buying components that you don't need, you're having to deal with a lower power machine overall, and typically more expensive as well. There's no re I mean, you can get away with something this size for cheaper than a laptop that will do everything that your laptop can do. There is absolutely, positively no reason for you to buy a laptop at that point. You don't necessarily have to get something this large or this loud or unstable. Anyway, um, sometimes you want a convertible. Probably not. I think I might be the only person watching uh, that has anything to do with this vlog that likes those machines. And then sometimes you just want a laptop. Um, next time, I next vlog, I will go over the number one most important thing when it comes to choosing a laptop. Um, I may go through more than just number one, depending on how long the vlog is. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of video editing on that one because I should probably link to examples since, well, I don't have too many of those. Good kitten, everyone, and ooh, speaking of kitten, although a three-year-old zone kitty is not exactly much of a kitten at this point, but I should have cats in as many videos as possible. We've already learned this. Bye, internet. Bye. Okay, yeah, I can't wave his paw very well. He's definitely still hookable, though.